Hey, yo, peace. It's Jada Pina. Uh, today, I'm going to do a little beat tutorial. A lot of y'all asked for it, so um, I'm going to get into it like that. Uh, yo, my method is real simple, man. It's just like kick, snare, hi-hat, sample, filter the sample. You know what I mean? Chop up, obviously, and uh, add a bass, maybe. But, it, like, I've been doing the same type of style since, like, 96, man. I'm a boom-bap artist, number one. You know what I mean? But um, hopefully you like this. Hopefully it'll help you out, all right? So let's get into it. All right, so first thing, man, I always start off with drums. Uh, I'm so used to doing it that way. You know what I mean? I come up with a little, like, basic pattern. I might change up the pattern afterwards. Sometimes I keep it. Uh, but right here, as you can see, where my samples are, I got a kick, a hi-hat, and a snare. Real simple. Um, I already got them locked in into a program. Um, and as you can see over here, man, I don't use many drums, man. Like, all my drums come from breaks. You know what I mean? And then I have layering drums. You know what I mean? Um, extra layer. And, and actually, that's I'm actually using kick five from that. But I don't know, man. It, it's been this way. Like, you know, back in the days with the MPC 2000, it was floppies, 1.44 megabytes. You can only hold so many drums, you know? So, I like, even with the new machine, I, I keep it that way, man. You know, I'm just an old bastard, I guess. But So, yeah, we're going to lock in a, a quick, um, like, a drum padding. Um, like I said, it's always the same, but boom, boom, bap, boom, bap, whatever. But uh, let's get into that. Uh, so, right now, you, you can see right here, the time correction is at 16. Swing is at 50. I'm going to bang up the swing. Uh, let's go, let's go 70, alright, so first, I do the hi-hats, I go to 16 level, you're gonna see that right here, velocity, velocity gives it even more swing to me, you know what I mean, I don't do the, I don't do this the, like, the perfect way, I do it my way, so, pay attention or not. But, I mean, this is simple. A lot of people know this, but this is what I do, all right? So I had to take a pause and take a sip of my cheap-ass beer. But, uh, yeah, you've seen it, right? Hi-hats. Now, take that off. I'm going to go to my kick. I'm going to go to track two. Actually, no, I'm lying. Snare. I'm going to hit the snare down. Again, I'm only at two bars right now. All right, that sounds good. Um, also, let me go back to uh, the hi-hats. What I like to do... You see what's time correct. I like to go to off. I like to open them up a little bit. Go to the beginning. And I do this this way. I know there's other ways that you can nudge and all that on the, on the MPC itself. But um, I put it on off and then I nudge the hi-hats a little bit to the right. So let's hear it at like two. Let's go a little bit more. Let's go one more. Right, that sounds pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go to track three now. I had the kick in. Simple, simple. It's swinging, you know what I mean? All right, cool. Um, all right, so I got my drum laid down. Now, samples. I mean, usually, I go to vinyl. Today, I'm not going to do that. Uh, my man, Joey Beats, I'm not sure if a lot of y'all are familiar with him, but he was actually the producer for... Um, Nonprofits, 
with Sage Francis. He's my man. Hit me with a ton of samples. Came over to the crib one day and just hit me with a ton of samples. I found something that I want to mess with. Um, it's right here. Joey Beat Sample. It's mean. It's mean sounding. So I just loaded it in. Uh, here it is. Alright. You see all these? This is where I want to lock in all my samples. On all the high pots. That's what I call it. Again. Man, I don't speak well. I'm probably not doing too well with this, but y'all get the picture. Um, this is where I want all my chops at. All right, boom, 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 boom. Easy ways you can do it. Um, now we're all samples. This one's simple because obviously you see all the high points. Again, that's what I'm calling it. But um, you can easily go to um, chop, right? Hit threshold. Now look at the screen. All those areas are chopped for you. On the 2000, I couldn't do that. Every time I sampled it, I had to like rewind. That's a 2000 classic right there. Uh, the XL, I think you could do auto chop. On that, you couldn't. Um, I'm actually missing a chop here. And it's easy. Throw your arrow right here. Boom, chop it up. All right. Um, but yeah, you. I, I kept having to rewind. You know, putting the sample back in. I mean, the record, playing the record. Bring it back, go to the next, you know, one, two, three, four. So, one, bring it back, sample. Let it go. Two, you get the point. I'm talking too much. But um, anyway, yeah, the, the samples are chopped up. Um, all right. So now, what I'm going to do is zoom in. You see they're a little off. Um, this is going to be annoying. Lower your volume down. This is how I like usually get to where I want the samples. I have it like, you know. Sounds like shit when you're doing that, but bear with me. So I got the samples chopped. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here where it says non-destructive convert. Um, hit new program. New program using slices. You see right here? I keep it right there. Boom. Slice type. Non-destructive slice. You can see right there. You can do pad per, uh, par, uh, parameters. So I'm going to press do it. I'm going to go back down to my main screen. I'm going to go to track four. Where's drum program? Joey Pete. Uh, Joey Pete's. Joey Beat sample. Um, so now you see they're all here. All chopped up. Alright. Another thing I like to do. Let me open this up. Um, I like to go to the mixer. Right here, you can see. Down on the left, where my arrow is. I like to go where the, where the sample is. And I like to throw a compressor on it. And reason being is it kind of levels out all the sound. So some things might be higher than others. You know what I mean? And sometimes that's cool in some beats. But um, most of the time, I throw an air compressor on it. Okay, and this is for the uh, MPCX, obviously, in the software, but um, I'm sure you can do it in all your other softwares, Logic and whatever, your use machine, etc. 
So um, I'll hit air compressor. Select. Open it up. I'll come here where the folder is. I'll go down to instrument and flatten it. So what it does, it kind of it, it levels everything out. You know what I mean? And sometimes you got to lower it on the mixer right here. You see how it doesn't like really rise above nine. Right here. All right, so I got the samples. Let's X out of that. Now, what I do is I mess around. Um, <laughs> this might take me a minute. This might be a little longer than I thought with the video. I want to keep it under 10 minutes, but let's go. All right, number one, I can already hear what I want to do. Um, I'm going to go to Program Edit. Bang. Uh, you can see where it says Edit Zones right here. Hit All. So it's for all your samples. And then I come over here where the filter is. You can see that right here on my screen. I come to Attack. Has a little bit of that, like you know, the beginners like crack 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 crack. I like I like it to kind of like dip, you know what I mean? So I don't know if you can hear the difference, but this is before. This is now. It's not so heavy, you know what I mean? In the beginning, I like that. So I'm going to keep it like that. Go back. Ooh. Kind of feeling that a little bit, a little bit. Alright, um, I kind of see what I want to do there, uh, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to make this two bar drum into eight bars, so on the screen, on the MPC X, I don't know if you can see this there, no you can't, but anyway there's like a double length feature here, so I'm going to hit it twice, sorry I think I just hit the mic, you're going to hear that, my bad. So I got it on eight bars. Um, yeah. I'm going to... This part right here. That's going to be like my hook. You know what I mean? Uh, let me record this in. Hold on. I get excited when I feel something. So my bad. Hold on.
I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, simple. You know what I mean? Uh, I can go back and change the drums up. Um, I want another sequence, though. So, again, on the NPC X screen here, I'm going to go to the pencil. I'm going to hit copy sequence. I'm going to drag that into sequence two. Go to main. Um, and then what I do is it's the same, you know, pattern. I'm going to erase that. Erase. Do it. So now it's empty. And I'm going to throw in. Mm. So that's the way like the MC would be, I feel. Now let's go. Messed up. Oh, also. My time correct, when I throw down my samples on my drums, it's on off. You can see it right here. I don't like it on. Sometimes it sounds too robotic, you know what I mean? So time correct off when I'm recording my samples. So let's go. Fucked up hardcore there. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I didn't think that was going to come out that good. I found that sample earlier um, out of those freaking... 500 samples my man joey gave me but um i like that right there so yeah there it is man simple oh and another thing i do you go to the mixer so um i mean i got two programs right now and then you know afterwards i'll separate the kick snare hi-hat all on its own tracks and mess with it but um on the master i like to uh i like to throw the vintage effects mpc 60 man it's not the same sound that comes out of those machines like the 1000 or the 2000 but it does give it a little beefier sound like so this is the beat without it right now that's with it you know you can hear the difference and it kind of gives it a warmer sound you know what i mean And then I like to throw a limiter on. And that's really it. Like I don't I don't go crazy with the effects, man. Like if I sell a beat or if somebody wants to use a beat, you know, I give them everything kind of raw and their engineer will do what they do to it. But and sometimes I don't like it either, because sometimes people send me stuff back, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm listening, like, uh, eh. so uh maybe I gotta work on that. But anyway, so I go to the VST. Alright, I got a couple of things here, limited, like, and all these are free, man, you can find these all online, Camel Crusher, that's a dope, it saturates, this is really dope, but 90% uh, of the time I like to use Loud Max, alright, so again, I'm going to shut it off, I'm going to shut these off so you can hear it normal, now I'm going to put them on. Mess with the limiter a little bit. So actually, I can. 
compresses it a little, gives it a little bit more beef. Off. On. Oh, one more thing. Drums. Throw a little compressor on that. And it's just the compressor that comes with the MPC software. Go to Dynamics. Um, and I like to use these. The original joints. See the Master. Opto, VCA, or Vintage. I like the Vintage. And you'll hear the difference in the drums once I stop messing with things. And like, yo, every beat, every drum is going to be different. You know what I mean? I don't have like a specific setting. But... um. You know, I just mess around with it and, and try to see what sounds good. came out pretty dope um so that's my process man it usually takes about 10 minutes or so sometimes longer but um i mean this beat ain't crazy but uh, you know i just want to show you my process and i hope you all enjoyed i hope you all learned something i'm gonna be doing a lot more of these so peace stay tuned